Hey, welcome back. This video is my opinion and should not be used for financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Okay, let's talk. Since last year through the first five months of this year, even to present, what's the number one thing we keep seeing in Iraq's news? The formation of the government, okay? And Iraq or Baghdad and the Kurds needing to resolve their differences between oil and budget money, okay? So as of, we're still seeing all of that in the news, okay? That, that, the reason you're seeing it in the news, guys, because that is your major delay, okay? Now, right now we're only seeing really three things in the news. We're seeing uh, Kurdistan and Baghdad talking about meeting sometime in the near future. They're going to meet to discuss, again, the budget and oil, okay? And the last remaining um, seven ministers of the cabinet, Okay, that's, that's the first thing they're talking about, okay? They also talk about, you know, meeting to, um, actually, th those, are two, those are two things, Kurdistan and Baghdad, to talk about the, uh, the, the oil budget money and the seven ministers. And they also keep talking about how they're, they keep telling us they're out of money and they can't pay these salaries, okay? And keep in mind, guys, Iraq's not even able to get loans right now. So Iraq is... They're, they're, the heat's getting turned up under them. Their days are numbered, okay? They don't have a lot of time, okay? But they do have to finish the formation of that government and come into agreement with the Kurds and resolve their differences, okay? But what I want to stress to you is they only have a limited amount of time, guys, right now. They've, they're they running out of money. There was an article roughly, I think it was late or mid last week, that says Iraq's treasury is empty, Okay? because they're out of money they they can't and nobody's going to write them loans right now here's an article i'm just showing you as an example it says iraq is looking for immediately financial support from saudi arabia and entering its market strongly iraq nobody's writing iraq loans okay and they they're running out of money that's why you've been seeing a gazillion articles talking about how iraq needs to do something to get those salaries paid okay they're they're struggling to be able, be able to pay those salaries to their people because they they're not able to get money. So uh, one article recently mentioned they're going to have to borrow internally, probably from the central bank or something like that. Okay, so Iraq's definitely on the hot seat right now, and their days are numbered. Now here's here's what I want to reach out to you about. So for sure, our number one delay we're waiting on is the. Is Kurdistan and Baghdad meeting and them resolving their differences and completing the last seven ministers. Those items are probably going to need about three to four weeks, counting next week. Okay? So that's what I want to share with you. They need about three to four more weeks to get those items resolved. Okay? So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Just sit back, relax. Um, what you're looking for in the news is you're obviously looking for articles from... Um, from the, you know, from them talking about completing the seven ministers and, and setting whatever dates for sessions of parliament for them to do that and complete that. And you're also looking for articles where they say, where Kurdistan says they're going to come to Baghdad, but those steps will most likely happen around the same time. They'll, they'll resolve both matters together simultaneously during the same week. Okay. So that's where we're at. They, they, they need about three to four more weeks to finish up that government so anyway guys god bless you guys have a wonderful friday and a great weekend take care